This uh, second thing that I'm enamored with, how many of you have been to the Iwo Jima Monument in Washington, D.C., flag raising? That's something else I can't get enough of. Uh, and I'd, every time I'd be in D.C., whether on business or riding through, I'd just go over there and stare at it. And one day I realized that, uh, hell, I'm just looking at bronze figures. And I forgot something very important there. Who were they? Where were they from? And I, I went about finding out where they were from, folks. Uh, I passed out kind of some pictures here. If you don't mind me taking a couple seconds, I passed out a few here. See that guy sticking the flag in the ground? That's Harlem Block. I like that guy. He's from down in Yorktown, Texas, down by San Marcos. That's George Strait country, by the way, for anybody that's a George Strait fan. Beautiful part of the country. I've ridden through there, driven through there. He was a high school football star in 1941. He and 12 of his buddies signed up for the Marine Corps and wound up at Iwo Jima. Second guy is a French boy from New Hampshire. A guy by the name of Gagnon. Rene. Well, he doesn't sound like he's from around here, but he's an American. We'll claim him, right? How many Frenchies do we got in this room? How many in-law Frenchies do we have in this room? Well, he was from New, New Hampshire, as I said. The next guy you can see there is the guy that's helping guide the uh, top of the flagpole in. That's a guy by the name of Mike Stryker. He's born in Czechoslovakia. All right, not too far away from the hinterland, right? Czechoslovakia. Stryker was probably Strykinski or something along those lines way back when. It got Americanized along the line. He was the old man of the bunch. He's 24 years old. And his instruction to his uh, group was not go kill the Japanese or be a hero and do all the things for your country. He was very short to the point. He said, boys, do as I say and I'll get you home to your mothers. Because the rest of those boys were 19, 18, 20. Okay. The next guy holding up the flag there, the Pima Indian. Ira Hayes. Ira Hayes. Okay. Never been off the Indian Reservation before, ever, ever. On the other side, one of my favorites, from Hilltop, Kentucky. Anybody know where Hilltop, Kentucky is? Bless your heart. On the way down to Bike Week, you're heading out of Cincinnati. Before you hit Lexington, it's down there on your left. That's where that boy is from, right here. He's buried about six miles away. A fellow by behind him, the last fellow, is a guy by the name of Bradley from Antigua, Wisconsin, up there, hardtail country, from the MRF. Well, there's not a time that I don't roll through and think about these guys when I go to Washington, D.C. And I think it's a point to remember <coughs> truly the names and faces of our American heroes. If you go back over the list I just had, just uh, went through, old Harlem Block didn't make it. Rene did. Stryker didn't make it either. Stryker. He was killed by a mortar there. Ira Hayes died 10 years after the picture was taken. Dead drunk. And Susie, Susie, the fellow from uh, Hilltop, Kentucky, he was killed by a mortar there as well. He was raised by his mother. Never had a father in the picture. And they say when they uh, delivered the telegram to her, her nearest neighbor was a quarter of a mile away and they could hear her. So, I would like to say that the folks in this room right here, are all of that ilk. Uh, we make up America's finest, and that should be remembered and perpetuated, if you will. We're the folks here at Abated, Indiana, 
that has done some wonderful things. Jay Jackson over there. He's got a cell phone in his pocket. The governor's number is there. His cell number. His emails there. The governor's administrative assistant. Jay's got that cell number and that guy's email. All the wonderful things that are done in this organization, our political contacts, our ability to get things done, preserve rights, uh, we kind of set the example. I think a thousand years from now, if someone were to dig up what this society was all about, all they need to dig up is a Hoosier motorcycles. And I say that seriously, all right, because in there, contains everything you need to know about America and what's going on right now. I mean, about all the rights, the issues, the political processes, all the charity. You see how much money we just raised, and that was just a pinch earlier, okay? This fellow right here, Mark Fulsetti, he's one of my heroes. He's been around forever. There is no publication that even comes close to Hoosier Motorcycles. I mean, if I were in, in charge of it, this, this boy right here get a Pulitzer Prize. And I say that very seriously from what he does and what he puts together. There is no magazine out there. And I say magazine, I think that's a disservice. That's a newspaper of first quality that contains a chronicle of our rights and our trials and tribulations that we've gone through. Unsung hero. You folks are served by... Uh, Gino the man. Where's Gino? Out in the hall. He's in the hall. Digger's, well, Digger's yeah. got him cornered talking He's got to him. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> well, first class, our numbers are perfect with Gino. Ex-IRS agent, so you got to keep an eye on him if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, why aren't there accountant jokes like there are lawyer jokes? <laughs> 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 